So now let us take this function. In this function, we have the value 1 at 3, 4, 5, 7, 10, 11 and 13. So in both the K maps, let me mark it. We have the values 1 at 3, 4, 5. So this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. Here this is 3, this is 4 and this is 5. Then we have 7, 10, 11. 13 and 15, 7, 10, 11, 13 and 15, 7, 10, 11, 13 and 15. Here also we have it 7, 10, 11, 13 and 15. Okay, we have these two K maps. Okay, now if you take these K maps, if you take these K maps, what are the subcubes we can make? the biggest subcube we have discussed about the biggest subcubes which we can make this can be one subcube this can be one subcube this can be one subcube as well as this can be one subcube okay see we could have made subcube with these two also but i haven't done it okay i'll discuss why i have not done it so here in this case we can make one biggest subcube here we can make this subcube we can make this subcube we can make this subcube Okay, so this sub q is representing the term uh, AB is not changing here. So it is A complement B and C complement but D is changing. Okay, so this sub q is now representing uh, the term which is B and D because A is changing as well as C is changing. This sub q is representing the term A complement CD. This sub Q is representing the term which is A B complement C. A B complement C. Okay, so this is A complement B and C. Fine. Therefore, the solution equation can be A complement B C complement plus A complement C D plus B D plus a b complement c plus a b complement c now in this you can check for every subcube the size of this subcube is 2 because the size of this subcube so it is 2 raised to the power 1 is 2 hence the value of m is 1 here in this case the size of this subcube is 4 therefore 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 so therefore the value of m is 2 for this particular subcube, the size of this particular subcube is 2. So 2 raised to the power 1 is 2. Therefore, the size m is equal to 1. For this subcube, so it is 2 raised to the power 1. Therefore, the size of m is 1. m is 1. And what are the number of literals? The number of literals, so number of variables here are 4. a, b, c, and d. We have 4 variables. Now, you can clearly see, I have written this, that every subcube will be representing n minus m literals. Every subcube will be representing n minus m literals. Therefore, this subcube will be representing 4 minus 1, that is n minus m, 4 minus 1 literals, which is equal to 3. And you can clearly see, you can clearly see this subcube is having 3 literals. In this subcube, it, it will be representing n minus m, that is 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. So it is representing only 2 literals. These are the 2 literals. Okay. This is 2 minus, sorry, 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. So it is representing 3 literals and it is representing 3 literals. Okay. And we know what is the number of literals. So see, whenever we are minimizing a function, or whenever we are minimizing a, a sum of product form, right? In that case, I discussed you, uh, minimization means we want to minimize the appearance of literals as well as we want to minimize the number of uh, the number of um, min terms. Okay, we want to minimize an appearance of literals as well as we want to minimize the number of min terms. How can we minimize the appearance of literals? Minimize the number of appearance of literals by making the subcube as big as possible. If you make smaller subcubes, then in case of smaller subcubes, uh, the appearance of literals will be more. In case of bigger subcubes, the appearance of literals will be less. Secondly, we want to make as less subcube as possible to minimize the number of min terms. For example, here in this case, 1, 2, 3 and 4, uh, I created 4 
four sub cubes which are covering all the ones because i have created four sub cubes which are covering all the ones therefore in the solution equation will be having four min terms and in those four means total how many liters will be there three plus three plus three plus two that means total 11 liters will be there okay in the same way i could i could have made a sub cube like this also i could have made a sub cube like this also and i could have added this particular sub cube in the solution equation in that case also the solution equation is valid but that will not be minimized so every for example if i add this one then still it is not changing the logical properties or logical values of that particular function we are just adding some redundant terms so we want to minimize this redundant terms that is why i have not added this one okay so even if i add this still the solution is correct if if i if i don't add it still the solution is correct but if i add this one then this equation will not be minimized we want to get a minimized solution for a particular equation okay so you can clearly see here also this this came up will also will, all, will also be representing the same thing this this cell is representing c complement a complement b this is a complement b c complement this cell is representing uh, b and d so bd this cell will be representing uh, c and a b complement and this cell will be representing c d and a complement if you add all these four terms then still you are getting going to get the same solution okay still you are going to get the same solution so let me uh, take one more example of a k map and then we'll discuss about what are the implicates what are prime implicates and what are essential prime implicates okay